Here is a question from Jessica. Hi, Jessica. She says, I have a friend that has no idea the things she says and how they sound. She's never had a weight problem in her whole life, and I have always struggled. She points out that I look good when I've lost weight, but it's in this way that makes me feel a little weird. I don't know how to explain it. She just has a perfect body, one of those people, and she doesn't even try. How do you handle people like that who don't understand because they don't know the struggle? <clears throat> wow. Um, I know those people. Fuck those people. Um, <laughs> you know, they're geared differently than we are. Um, mm -hmm. I think of like, I think of people in in certain ways as like of my tribe and outside of my tribe and and there are overlapping tribes right like i'm i have my family and not all of the people in my family struggle with their weight and so um it, it, as far as the tribe of people who struggle with their weight go my not all of my family is within that tribe but i do think like you can be friends with somebody um, who has no idea what you go through with this on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I'm a sober person who, <clears throat> who has had issues with drugs and alcohol, and my wife is not. And so she cannot fully understand what I'm dealing with with drugs and alcohol, but she tries. And she's my wife, so she puts, she makes an effort. I don't know if you're you're friend if you're that close with them that they need to even go that extra mile but i could say that um if this person first of all some people are just passive aggressive so maybe she's passive aggressive who knows and if she's not then she should be receptive to if she says something that hurts your feelings and you communicate with her about it that she would try to not do that again you know um I, I, you know, I just think there are solutions for this. I think that if somebody is rooting for you and seeing that you, maybe she's aware that you're on a diet and rooting for you to be successful and therefore maybe just wants to acknowledge that she can see it or, you know, to help motivate you to continue. Um, I do try to give people the benefit of the doubt if they say something that I find hurtful or that strikes me in a certain way um I for sure am always going why why am I reacting in that way to what they said is there anything overtly wrong with what they said and if not look I'm fucking sensitive about my weight you could say 20 different things that probably have nothing to do with my weight that are going to make my attention go to my weight and make me feel a certain way. That's not on you. That's on me. If you're being a dick and trying to put my attention on my weight, um, then you're just a dick and I don't need to be friends with you. Uh, that's really how I look at that kind of situation. Um, I would hope your friend is just being supportive if they're passive aggressive and trying to make you feel like shit and belittle you, get rid of them. You don't need that friend. That's that. Those are, those are my feelings about that. Amazing advice. And as a girl who has a whole wide range of friends, some of whom I could say, you know, have said things that are just sort of unaware, right? Like, cause sometimes someone says something and they really truly just don't know that what they're saying is, is just not, real for you, right? Like that's real for them. Um, but then there are friends that, yeah, there are, or people that I know or encounter that maybe are not, they are a little passive aggressive to, to a greater or lesser degree. And for me, not like she asked me, but I'm just going to say, um, I just don't talk to them about that kind of stuff. I keep them in like a certain compartment. Like I can talk about this, this, and this, right. But I can't talk about that because they don't understand. They're going to say something that is going to upset me. You know what I mean? To the smallest degree sometimes. I just don't talk about it. And even I have one friend in particular I can think of who might make a comment like, wow, you look great. And it's like almost with a surprise, you know, and you could just go, thanks. And you just move on. And when I do get into it, even just a touch, yeah, I've been dying. Da, 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 
I hate myself later. Like, oh, I wish I didn't talk to her about that. You know what I mean? So there's yeah. certain people that you could talk to about certain subjects and certain ones that just don't understand. So yeah, it's like you can brush it off and 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 try to just don't even bring it up with those people. That's That's how I do it. Yeah, I just saw Jamie Presley for the first time in years. Um, Jamie Presley played Joy on My Name Is Earl, mm-hmm. and then we we actually <clears throat> where I she played I played her brother in law, and then we did another TV show, a full season of a TV show. I actually can't remember what it was called, but we did a full season of it, um, and we played brother and sister. So I've worked with Jamie a lot, and I knew her before My Name Is Earl. Jamie Presley is my is like my sister. There's mm-hmm. and not a sister who has any spite towards her brother at all. She is only wants to support me and we love each other and we have a great relationship. She I dieted for the entirety of my name is Earl. I wasn't ever not on a diet. And there used to be a thing where like Friday nights, um some food, special food would come. Sometimes it was an In-N-Out truck and the In-N-Out truck would come to set and they'd make everybody In-N-Out burgers or it would be a taco truck with special kinds of tacos or a coffee truck or an ice cream truck or something fun always came. And from day one, Jamie Presley, who you hear about like girls in Hollywood and they like are super watchful of what they eat. And Jamie Presley's getting two double doubles at the In-N-Out truck. And I'm getting one double double with no bun, right? No sauce. And like, that's all I can eat. And she's crushing two double doubles and like loving it. And then like three hours later, wondering if the in and out truck's still there so she can have a third. Like she's that kind of person where she's got such a fucking athletic body. I'm sure she was a dancer. Um, she's got muscle. She's not just real thing. She's healthy and she eats whatever the fuck she wants. At no point is her having this, wanting the third double, double a dig at me. But every time she wanted it, I would get a little bit like that bitch can eat whatever she wants. And it would somehow hurt my feelings. You know what I mean? But she's not, she's not doing it to fuck with me. Uh, and then she got pregnant on my name is Earl. And I was like, ah, here we go. It was her first kid that she had. And I was like, well, it's, and now it's on. Now you're going to see what weight loss is like. And I swear to God, she popped that kid out. And like two weeks later had her same body had not gained an ounce of fat on top. Like it was crazy. Her entire weight gain was a baby that once out, she was back at the gym eating double doubles. Like, and there could be things that she could say that I could feel a certain way about that. That's all in my head. It's got nothing to do with anything in her head, you know, or anything in her with her intention. It exists entirely within my head. So we have to, I have to be aware of like what's happening with me that I'm feeling that way. What's happening with you that you're feeling like your friend saying you look great means that you didn't look great at some other point. You know, I've had that with my wife where (laughs) she tries on a dress. She says, what do you think of this dress? And I say, it looks great. Then she tries on another dress and she says, what do you think of this dress? And I go, oh, I love it. And she goes, oh, so you were lying about the last one. And I'm like, no, I wasn't fucking. The last one looked great. I love this. They're not that different. I don't know what to say. Like, whatever's happening in her head to make her think that what I said this time means something else about last time. That's it. That's on us. That's got nothing to do with them. Unless your friend is a passive aggressive asshole and they're fucking with you. That could be real too. So I think it's probably somewhere in there and you got to really figure it out. Um, I think your friend should be allowed to tell you you look great, especially if she's aware that you're on a diet and you've lost weight. They're just trying to support you and let you know that they recognize the success in what you're doing, which is, you know, hard. You're putting effort into something that that's those are the ways I think about all of that kind of thing. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for that. Well, Guess what? This is the time where I remind you that if you have a question for Ethan, 
you can ask it. You can email us hello at americanglutton.net.